All right, cello. So um, this is for French folk song for Essential Techniques Book 3. We're going to start all the way up on that G in fourth position. So just like we would practiced in 5, 6, and especially number 7, yeah, I want you to locate that G with four fingers in fourth position. If you can't hear it, play your open G. And try to find it in the higher octave based off of that. So I play G, G. So I found it, right? Based off of that, I now know where my third finger should be for that F sharp. And my first finger will be for the E. Because my first, you know, few notes are four. Fourth finger for G. G. Then F sharp, three. Then one, three, four. All the way back to four, first position. Then two for C natural. Then B. Then A. And G, two, three. Then four, zero, one. This is first position. Second finger, open A, first position. shift all the way to G and if you can sing it before you find it that'll help you get the pitch so you have ba -da. here comes the bride yes then you have G F sharp E four three one then four all the way back first position two one zero shift to third position on the D string one three one two Okay, so again, this is going to probably take a lot of maybe air bowing, a lot of singing and listening to the pitch. But the cool thing about this is once you get this down, you can go on to smart music and play French folk song as, you know, in tune and um, as brightly as you can, very expressive now that you're shifting and moving all around the cello. Okay, it should be fun to do that with accompaniment. All right, if you have any questions, just let me know, but I hope this helped. All right, see you later.